<laughs> hey guys, all right, we're doing some vlog status today in the car. Um, just want to talk a little bit about engine oil. Um, it's one of those things that I feel like is super, super important for your car and not all engine oils are created equally. So, um, something that I definitely wanted to touch on. Not that I am an expert by any means. I am not an expert. Uh, this is just my experience. Um, now, for the CRDs, as far as I'm aware, the manual recommends non-diesel engine oil. So. It's a little sketchy for me, and this has been talked about on the forums and stuff online kind of a lot, so um, the information's already out there. I just wanted to kind of make it uh, a video for the future of our CRD uh, community here in case somebody doesn't find it on the forums. I want somebody else to be able to find it here. So. For me, I've been running diesels for about pretty much my whole adult life. Pretty much my whole life. My first car was a diesel. My second car was a diesel. My last car before my last car was a diesel. So uh, my current vehicle is a diesel. I've been driving diesels for probably 15 or 20 years now at this point. I'm almost 40. I've been driving diesels for a long time. I've been running the Rotella diesel oil for the majority of, I would probably have to say for all of it because back in the day that was all you could really find at the auto parts store was the Rotella and that's what I've always ran and that's what I'm going to run in this Jeep um, full synthetic we are a turbo diesel so we want to make, make sure we have a full synthetic and I'm not going to just talk about the diesel Jeep uh, as far as oil is concerned. I'm also gonna talk about Volkswagens because that is the other cars that uh, we have in this in this little garage is uh, Volkswagens. Now, the 1.8T is the one that I am driving right now. I, I, well, not right the second, but I have a 1.8T GTI and a 1.8T Passat. And the oil that I've been running on those is Castrol. Now, Castrol is uh, it's a special type of Castrol. I've been running 0W40 in those. Alright, and the reason I've been running that Castrol is basically it's not made to the same standards as other oils are in the United States. The United States has its own oil standards, which, you know, this is very, very loose information here. I'm not getting into specifics at all. But essentially, you know, you got the United States engine oil has its own standards. Then, Castrol, which is an American company, as far as I know, stays by all of those except for the 0W40. If you look on the containers of the 0W40, some of them anyway, it's got to be the full synthetic. I'm going to show you here in a minute because we're on the way to the store right now to get some. Now, the 0W40 uh, that I use is made to the Germany, the German uh, oil standards, which as far as I'm aware, are more stringent than the ones in the United States. So, when choosing oil for the 1.8T, I automatically go for that. I have almost 200,000 miles on my 1.8T Passat, and that car will still start and run and drive without any problems related to the engine. It does burn a little bit of oil, but that was the problem before I got it, and I've had it for about 80,000 miles or so. So um, you can definitely tell there that it makes a difference. Um, it doesn't it, it doesn't burn any more oil than it used to since I first got it. Um, it's always been kind of the same. That's not something that you want to brag about that your engine burns oil, but it does. All engines burn a little bit of oil. Mine burns a little bit more. It actually uh, it actually stopped the problem. Whatever was causing the burning oil, it, it, it didn't get any worse. That, that's pretty pretty impressive for me. We found this guy right here, and I think we're gonna go with that one. It is uh, two and a half gallons, so I should have some left over for uh, next oil change as well. I'm gonna show you guys what I use for the uh, 1.8 T's, which is Castrol Edge 
CRW40. And it says specifically on there, European formula. If you look on the back of it, I'll flip it around here, and you look and see where it was made. Made in Belgium. And that means this Castrol Edge 040 is specific for European cars. And I've been using it in my 1.8Ts. Works awesome. Aside from the oil that you're gonna need for your oil change, you're also gonna need an oil filter. Now, if you go to the auto parts store and you just order, you know, the OEM filter, I'm gonna show you what you get. Um, it's, it's a lot smaller than the alternative, which is the uh, 1773 uh, Napa part number, which is quite a bit larger, which is gonna be, I'll show you the picture right here comparing the two. Um, this is the one right here, which is much larger and is gonna give you a little bit of extra capacity in your oil. Should put you right up to about seven quarts. So when you go to do your oil change, you'll uh, need a little bit extra oil, but a little bit more oil is not a bad thing. Um, it's definitely gonna help you to, um, you know, spread the wear across your oil because air, the oil does wear out. So if you have a little bit more, it will, you know, spread that wear out across the oil, help with cooling a little bit. And um, overall, it's just a, a good idea to, you know, get something that's a little bit bigger. So that's what we got. If you guys don't want to go to Napa and order it, uh, we'll put a link in the description for Amazon link. So if you click that, um, you can buy it that way. If you guys want to support the channel, that's a great way to do it. Um, and we appreciate all your views and all the subscribers out there already. So guys, thanks a lot. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.